the difference between an autologous and allogeneic transplant. An autologous transplant uh, is a transplant where you use the patient's own stem cells, blood producing stem cells, to regenerate the blood producing system after treatment with high dose chemotherapy or high dose radiation or both. So there is no donor or no other person involved who donates the stem cells, it's the patient's own stem cells, which is in contrast to an allogeneic transplant where the stem cells come from another person. That person can be a matched sibling, it can be a matched unrelated donor, it can be umbilical cord blood, or it can be a half-matched sibling or parent, haploidentical transplantation. So the, the stem cells come from a, from a different individual. You may know that the ideal allogeneic stem cell donor is a sibling, or it can be a sibling. Not all siblings are fully matched. Only 25% of siblings are fully matched, are fully HLA identical. But if one doesn't have a matched sibling, and the majority of patients actually don't have a matched sibling, that's where the unrelated donor program comes into the picture. It's basically uh, finding a genetically suitable donor in an unrelated donor database, which is a worldwide database, which allows us basically to identify those donors and have the stem cells, uh, if the donor is agreeable, shipped to us for transplantation. A haploidentical allogeneic transplant refers to transplants that are half identical, which could be parents or siblings, those siblings who don't happen to be fully matched, but they are half matched. Yeah, a cord blood allogeneic transplant is a transplant where the allogeneic stem cells, blood forming stem cells, are derived from the umbilical cord of a newborn baby. So for patients who don't have a suitable unrelated donor who can be identified in a database and for whom, let's say, haploidentical transplantation is not an option, that's a very good consideration to, to go to cord blood because there are cord blood repositories in the country. Cord blood can be made available. And with our technology today that we have available, that we can perform what's called reduced intensity allogeneic transplants. Some people call them mini transplants, but again, they're not that many, they're real transplants. Uh, we can actually make allogeneic transplantation accessible even to older patients in their 60s, 70s, who wouldn't have been good candidates just 15, 20 years ago, because the intensity of the preparative regimen of the chemo and radiation given in preparation for the transplant is mild enough that the patient can tolerate it and can basically receive the transplant.